Okay, hello guys. I welcome you to our channel, Nota Bene Tech on Tube, with a series of reading books. Uh, one uh, one of uh, the books that we covered is on J by Jason West. I still can't speak English. Another book was uh, on business information management, in which we discuss the SQL and databases and how we can uh, arrange uh, the database and. Uh, uh, around a central a server and the central database management and if uh, we are running a business by using sql and also uh, xql and access in microsoft which we're going to later perform in our uh, coming future videos we have also discussed on uh, how to uh, uh, how to build a, a subscription business uh, one of the book as well we have uh, read uh, some of uh, the extracts from that book and also uh, we have gone through a research paper by uh, the uh, University of Nagpur uh, research, uh, uh, researchers and uh, we have uh, came across uh, the research paper on uh, digital marketing and social media. And uh, now uh, we are going to discuss a book which is the ultimate guide to email marketing. Everything you need to know about successful email marketing. And uh, the book uh, is by Kevin Gao, CEO and the founder. And uh, Com100 is, I believe, is uh, the name of the organization. So the contents covered in this book is why is email marketing important to your marketing plan? and email marketing types of email marketing email and the consumer life cycle setting up your email marketing platform which is important designing your email template and uh, spam how to get into the inbox every time building your email list determining the success of your email marketing campaign optimizing your email marketing campaign and uh, i believe that's it looking at the book uh, i'll just see that what is important just we need to understand what is why we need the email uh, marketing first of all that needs to be confirmed and uh, email marketing and also the uh, email and the customer life cycle is important setting up your email marketing platform is important and uh, designing your email uh, template it, yes it is uh, also some of uh, the topics are important spam building your email list you can go through these other sections uh, when you are in a process of uh, uh, actually what you say in uh, actually uh, creating a platform for your email marketing and when you are in that process you can go through the rest of the details but first you need to know that why uh, email marketing is important and uh, the first question and the first uh, section is uh, in this section if uh, you haven't incorporated email or electronic newsletters into your marketing plan yet you may be wondering why email is important to a marketing mix this introductory section explains the history of email marketing and the benefits of email marketing and concludes with useful case studies about uh, how email marketing has improved revenue and sales for specific companies okay the story of email marketing evolution of email communications the benefits of email marketing email marketing versus social media and email marketing case studies improving revenue with email okay lots of important topics the story of email marketing evolution of email communications and uh, remember the days of postal mail marketing take a minute and take a walk to your mailbox no we don't mean a uh, walk to your computer to check your inbox we mean a walk to your actual physical mailbox where people mail your paper letters and packages now take a moment to sort through the mail that you find there chances are that you will find several promotional or marketing flyers which are trying to sell your localized services however you may also find catalogs and promotional postcards for global or larger brands now take a moment to consider what the world would be like if postal mail to your physical mailbox were the only way to send your customized communications to market products and services. It would be a highly inefficient system. Because postal mailings need to be printed in bulk to reduce cost, uh, your message could only be mildly customized to include your name. Then whoever wanted to advertise uh, to you would have to pay for not only uh, the printing of the postcard, flyer or catalog to be mailed, but also for all the stamps or postal cost 
uh, to send the mailing absolutely right there are the cost involved as well finally the marketer who sent the mailing would have to wait for a period of time for you to receive it it may be several weeks until the post office delivered it and it may be even longer until you remove the mailing uh, from your mailbox and read it because of that timing the offer that the marketer was sending to you couldn't be specific and time relevant finally the marketer had no way of knowing if the postal mailing has uh, had had any impact on you unless uh, you then use a specific promotional code included on the mailing uh, there was no way to know if you uh, you have even uh, looked at or received your mailing. Does this sound like an ineffective way to market your products or services to a mass consumer audience? Well, until as recently as the 1990s, it was largely the only way to take a marketing communication into the hands of a specific individual. Marketers came up with many ways to attempt to make postal uh, marketing mailings more personalized and to better track their response rates. But the truth was that only uh, once you send a postal mailing, uh, figuring out if it worked or didn't work was more guesswork than actual facts. The entire process was in it was uh, and is expensive, time consuming and difficult to judge the success of. Absolutely right. <clears throat> The birth of the internet, 1991. While there are many people who claim to be the founder of the internet, experts say that the internet as we know it began in 1991 when CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, publicized a paper known as the New World Wide Web Project. And uh, through a British scientist, uh, Tim Berners-Lee had actually been creating HTML, HTTP, and the world's every first web pages as CERN as early as two years prior to the paper. The publishing of the paper is considered the birth of the internet. Not only did the internet change life as we know it, it also changed marketing as we know it. Absolutely right. Over the next decade, many experts estimate that the internet grew as much as 100% per year in terms of bandwidth use. The greatest spikes of growth were seen in 1996 and 1997. Today, of course, you would have a hard time finding anybody who does not admit that the internet plays a key role in their daily lives. From information gathering to processing and communications primarily through the use of email and more recently social media. Hotmail becomes the first web-based email service, 1996. Okay, One of the greatest benefits of the rise of the internet was the ability to use email or electronic mail to communicate with people. Email was fast, free and uh, could s speed up communication across the world in a way that most people had not previously imagined. However, during the first years of the internet, email was only available to people who fit into specific groups, college students using their college email address or employees who were able to use corporate email addresses. The second group typically had significant uh, limitations on how they could use their email and whom they could communicate with. While some individuals could also get email services provided by their internet service provider, those services typically required that you checked your email specifically from the computer that was supported by your IS, uh, ISP. Email was not a pick up and go anywhere type of communication. And uh, then in 1996, uh, Sabir Bhetia and uh, Jack Smith launched a, uh, what was called a to Hotmail, uh, with the letters being a reference to H uh, HTML. Yes, absolutely right. And it was the first base email system and suddenly email was available to anybody who had access to the internet. They didn't use uh, just mean people who had uh, some computers that were internet wide. It also meant anybody who could use a public computer at a library or, pers or business center. Suddenly email was no longer limited to just a small group of people who needed to communicate primarily with each other. Email was out of the back to the public and anybody who wanted to communicate with anybody else could go could do so via hotmail. Uh, not surprisingly, people loved the service and uh, flocked to it a year later in 1997. People purchased uh, Hotmail for $400 million and renamed it MSN Hotmail. Okay. Just how many people use email today? Today, uh, Hotmail is just techni technically the largest web. Okay. And. Uh, Email in terms of raw users, according to the most recent uh, COM uh, score uh, data, August of 2010, Hotmail is reported to have 364 million users. Yahoo Mail is the second largest with the reported 280 million users and Google's email is third and 191 million users. 
the birth of email marketing uh, when email began as a communication tool for academic and business purposes it soon became a tool for personal communications among friends relatives and even people who had never met in real life as people began to spend more and more time using email as their primary communications tool uh, smart marketers realized that email communication was the future of marketing communications and began to make the shift into using email as a way to effectively communicate with customers email marketing to make the shift into using uh, email marketing even in its earlier days presented a number of benefits over both uh, postal marketing and telesales as a form of direct to consumer or direct persons to business communications well we look at these uh, those benefits in detail in the next section of the book but today email marketing is a robust portion of any complete marketing plan and has entire industries built around helping businesses of all sizes effectively small email market absolutely right okay what are the benefits the benefits of email marketing uh, reduce time and effort to get your marketing message to customers uh, right consumers and because you don't have to waste in print postal mailings uh, telesales campaigns and also uh, uh, in addition uh, because you have to wait the time uh, out uh, while your sales agents dial through cycled uh, call attempts to call all of uh, the sale leads or customers on your target list because this is one of the way our uh, email marketing is important an ability to send real-time messages absolutely right uh, as we talk about above with the printer mail or telesales campaign will lead to select marketing campaigns and specials that have a long tail because of the extended period of time between campaign development and implementation because uh, a marketing email can be completed in just a few hours you can literally send a day of messages uh, to help reduce stock or promote a limited time special as needed. You uh, can even uh, send unique real time messages to customers that arrive on their birthdays or anniversaries. With email marketing, short time frames are your friend, not your enemy. Okay, improved ability to personalize messages. Yes, because that is you can send all the uh, one size fits all format. Uh, okay it's difficult for you to see uh, speak directly to your uh, consumer in a personalized way however email marketing represents many dynamic opportunities not only can you personalize email marketing messages with your user's name or login name but many email marketing solutions offer the ability to feed in personalized information such as sales or purchase history also because creating separate email sends uh, is significantly less challenging than creating separate postal mail print mail or advertising campaigns you can segment your customer list into smaller list and send very personalized messages for example you can select all uh, your users or customers uh, who are from New York City and then write your email marketing copy to speak directly about New York City with the email marketing and communications you can speak easily speak to your customers in a very personalized and intimate way that is not possible with other marketing channels and avenues absolutely right easier capability to segment user and customer database information as noted above because you can segment your database of customers or users with email you can send extremely targeted marketing campaigns that will result in increased sales conversion simply because they are so specific for example if you sell flowers you can find every Everybody in your database who ever bought uh, uh, daffodils and then send them an email in April when the fast daffodil shipments come in. You are then using your customer database to put the most relevant message in front of the customers who are most likely to respond to it and that's what good marketing is all about. The ability to send more frequent communications, absolutely right, easier capability to test marketing messages. Good marketing always means being able to test things. With email marketing, it becomes incredibly easy to see what graphics, headlines, offers, and even colors your users and customers will respond to. You're absolutely right. It's incredibly simple to simply uh, send one version of an email to one part of your list and a second version of an email to a different part of your email list. Then through the very precise tracking tools that email marketing offers, you can figure out which marketing message worked better to convert sales or user actions we'll talk in detail about both the great tracking tools that email marketing offers as well as common email marketing tests uh, later on in this book ability for users uh, to share information easily with friends and family significant reduce overhead cost absolutely right save the plan with email marketing because there's no paper involved 
and there's no printing involved Ex exponentially better ability to track sales and user engagement there may be no better marketing channel from which to draw precise and usable tracking information to help you figure out what's useful and what's not than email marketing well-developed email marketing platforms such as com 100 can provide tracking information on how many people open an email how many people clicked a link in an email with specific link within the email was clicked how many people complained that an email was spam or unsubscribed and of course whether your email even made it uh, into your recipient's inbox combine that with the business ability to track sales back to a source and you can identify customer engagement and response through an entire cycle with clear easy to understand matrix absolutely right though those are a lot of minimal benefits of email marketing over other marketing channels of course we recommend that email marketing be an important part of your marketing mix not the on uh, not the only uh, ingredient in it okay obviously you can look upon the clicks as well and the pattern of the clicks whether it was uh, clicked uh, whether how many people complain about whether it's a spam or unsubscribed one or how many people open your email and uh, how many uh, people clicked a link in an email so these are all the metrics that you can check against and see what is uh, what is the email how effective is your email marketing and the plan is and how you can actually engage uh, it uh, at a more uh, effective uh, way so email marketing versus social media myspace facebook twitter google plus there is an increasing number of social networks that at one time or another dominated internet traffic of course marketing via social networks has increased too which is an obvious necessity uh, since so many consumers and customers spend so much time on social networking sites does it make sense for you to allocate all of your marketing resources to marketing through social networking no email is still a very important part of any uh, complete web marketing strategy of course in the socially networked world you'll need to combine your email marketing strategy and your social marketing strategy to meet different goals uh, here are some tips and advice on how and why to incorporate email marketing with your social media strategy okay email marketing still provides the highest return on investment okay the reality is that everybody from co uh, now, Comsco to Marketing Walks have uh, run studies and surveys of top marketers on one statistic remains true. No matter how big the social networks have gotten, email marketing still returns the greatest uh, return on investment. This makes sense when you think about how little overhead or time it can take to send an extremely targeted email to a very specific group of customers or users. Uh, if for uh, no other reason than because you are a smart person, a uh, smart business person who appreciate the importance of a strong uh, ROI number, email marketing should be at the top of your list of important target sales and marketing communication channels. Absolutely right. Consumers and users do not switch email addresses, but they do migrate social network. Absolutely right. Do very few are the cases when uh, we have a switching over the email. When there is email created, it will remain with the person or with the entity with a very long time. Uh, and uh, messages do not disappear from inboxes until unless you delete them absolutely right and email is targeted social networking is one side fits all the nature of social networking is a product is to protect uh, a certain degree of privacy additionally people do not always pro provide the most truthful information about themselves on a social network however your email database contains information that allows you to segment and target communication based on facts such as purchasing history gender age and even geographic location the most effective uh, marketing messages are the most targeted marketing messages social media and social networks do not allow you to target messages effectively okay Social media is a brand engagement tool, not a direct sales tool. Absolutely right. All right. At the heart of the matter, however, is the role of social media in your marketing strategy. Most marketing experts agree on one thing. Social media is a branding tool, not a direct sales tool. Absolutely right. A great part of the reason that email marketing uh, continues to deliver the highest return on investment of all marketing channels is that how users behave on social networks does not translate into direct sales 
social network users gather information and discuss products they don't necessarily buy products social media is important for brand engagement it is now however a typically a, a sales a direct sales a channel like it's not however typically a direct sales channel like email marketing is okay it is uh, it is because the book has been written i believe uh, in 2010 very early so now it, uh, with the passage of a decade time uh, this this comment may not stand true because in now it is not just his brand engagement tool it is a uh, direct sales uh, channel as well you just have to create a market for the client so that they may able to grow so email marketing and social uh, media need to work together uh, any good marketing plan is a comprehensive marketing plan that means that your social media and your email marketing platform should work together there should be opportunities for users to share email contents via social networks and opportunities for users to join your email list via social networks one strategy does not mean that the other strategy doesn't need to exist however the existence of social networks certainly does not take away the need for a strong email marketing program and strategy absolutely right and email marketing case studies improving revenue with email how for emails boosted end of year revenue for a non-profit by 50 percent the case study has been given and uh, marketing sherpa okay the challenge the campaign keeping it simple the four emails and uh, what's uh, next the health connect one team then scrubbed uh, their email list the Health Connect One team uh, would then scrub their email list. We'll discuss this technique later in the book and determine which portion of the database was best to select and send the email to. They uh, then develop a landing page exclusive to the email campaign that uh, reinforced the message of the campaign and included easy ways to uh, donate money to the organization. Uh, finally, they discuss and plan the proper timing of the sending of the emails, working both to space the emails out over time as well as to avoid holiday slow periods where when people are not necessarily checking their email. The results, the results of this well thought uh, out uh, email showed not only in the key matrix used to determine email success rates, open rate and click through rate. They also showed in the overall revenue gain, all of the emails except for the email sent on December 23rd received an open rate of greater than 20% and a click-through rate of uh, greater than 4%. More importantly, Health Connect 1 exceeded a score of $50,000. In dollar in donations and generated a 50 percent more revenue in their december campaign uh, than they had their year before the ability to communicate multiple times with unique personalized content that uh, told a story and made donating simple result resulted in a comfortable and successful december donations campaign for health connect one okay uh, okay okay Email marketing 101. Okay, so you need why it's important that you include email. I, we have gotten an idea. We have, we've taken the idea. After all, the effective return on investment, proven staying power, and flexible marketing opportunity of email uh, make it an undeniable powerful factor in any marketing mix. But what kind of email marketing should you implement? What basic information do you need to know to get started? In this section, we'll give you the basics, the very basics of the first thought processes that you need to go through to implement an email marketing program. We'll, have, we'll help you decide which types of email marketing to use, how to integrate email marketing into customer life cycles, basic terminology and some laws and regulations that you'll need to know about in order to effectively email market. Types of email marketing, customer acquisition and sales generating email marketing, customer loyalty and brand email marketing, customer retention email marketing, customer win back email marketing, newsletters versus direct sales emails, auto responders, can spam and email privacy laws to be aware of, email marketing glossary terms to know before you get started. Customer acquisition and sales generating email marketing. Okay. 
who receives a customer acquisition or sales generating email typically your user demographic for an email that's designed to generate uh, directly generate sales or acquire customers will be one of the three groups the first group will be a list of potential customers who have never been exposed to your product before you will typically rent or purchase this list from another company what is the content of a customer acquisition or sales generating email okay customer loyalty and brand email marketing customer retention email marketing okay customer win back email marketing these are the types of the strategies you can implement while using the email marketing just to create the customer retention first of all you have to acquire them then you have to retain them then you have to win back the email marketing campaign as well using the email marketing win back campaign and uh, newsletters were direct sales emails okay uh, email newsletters content is still king okay the purpose of an email newsletter is to provide users with relevant information that will accomplish the following goals cause subscriber to think of be aware of and build a relationship with your brand create continued exposure of your brand and products in a customer's mind for the time when they are ready to purchase drive page views to your website create a viral awareness of your company product or brand through email forwards of useful information generate sales through product features and advertise specials what is the typical content of an email newsletter while the specific content of an email newsletter will be largely driven by industry the segment of users on your email list will receive the email newsletter and your uh, and your own in-house testing of what content your users respond to the following is a list of the most common types of content that you can find in an email newsletter articles about issues related to your industry opinion columns from experts tips and advice columns that will be useful to the consumers of your product question and answer columns and product testimonials email newsletter pros and cons email newsletters pros okay email newsletters cons okay so you can uh, discuss those email uh, go through that email newsletter and the types of email marketing and uh, email newsletter best practices Okay, at the end, I'm just going to discuss some of the email marketing glossary uh, terms to know before you get uh, started because in the uh, doing email marketing is uh, obviously you have to do it when you are actually implementing that marketing strategy and the marketing platform and developing by for yourself and for the agency and as a uh, tool uh, to product uh, uh, your offerings or to uh, develop your offerings later on. But uh, the foremost part is uh, to get an understanding of the basic uh, terminologies commonly used in email marketing. So I have actually uh, taken out uh, a page above the fold when talking about a web page or landing page. This is this portion of the page that appears in the user's web browser without the user having to scroll down. Obviously, when talking about an email, this is the portion of the email that appears in the email client's purview. Uh, pain without the user needing to scroll or open uh, the full email yes absolutely right the above the fold autoresponder this is a series of emails typically between 10 and 20 which are automatically triggered and automatically sent after uh, a user signups for an email list with no ongoing effort by uh, the sender they are covered in detail okay blacklist in email marketing being on a blacklist means that an email server provider has identified you or your company as spam and will no longer allow your emails to be delivered to users inboxes instead sending them into the spam or junk folder uh, got it brand building this is an activity that serves to make a product or company's brand name more prominent among users or the public in uh, specific to email marketing it refers to emails that do not overtly strive to sell a product 
or service but instead work to build a relationship between the customer and the brand or company uh, call to action any portion of a landing page or email that drives a user to take a specific action such as to uh, such uh, such as to click a link or to purchase a product or to provide an email address or okay, okay can spam the u.s law which governs the rules of privacy and consumer rights regarding the receipt of a promotional email it is covered in detail in section 2.4 of this book customer acquisition the process of finding converting and acquiring new customers who have not previously been exposed to your brand, product company or website okay customer loyalty the process of building a relationship with customers so that they continue to patronize your brand business product service or website other than switch to a competitor okay Customer retention, the process of ensuring that customers who have made a first purchase are retained in such a way that they make future purchases, okay, that uh, they represent the individual or, per, or business that sent the originating email, okay. That has to be uh, actually customer. The process of ensuring that customers who have made a first purchase are retained in such a way that they make future purchases site with us. Obviously, I was just getting it just to link to... Uh, uh, to the previous uh, to the brand uh, building but it's not uh, so uh, customer retention the process of ensuring that customers who have made a first purchase are retained in such a way that they make future purchases site visits etc customer win back the process of converting customers who have lapsed or abandoned your product service brand website or business back into active customers Direct sales emails, marketing emails that have the sole purpose of using a single call to action to convert users to uh, purchasing a product or service or uh, filling out a lead generation form. Direct sales emails, okay, doubled out in. This form of outing into an email a mailing list requires a user to confirm twice that they want to be included on the email list. The first time is when they click their acceptance of the terms and conditions and add themselves to the list. The second time is when they click a confirmation link sent to them in an email immediately after signing up. While this may reduce overall quality of email signing ups, it often increases overall quality of sign ups. Okay. Quantity of email signing up, we have called it double out uh, opt in. This form of opting in into an email mailing list requires a user to confirm twice that they want to be included on the email. Yes, obviously, right. Email a personalization. This is the act of using client information such as the first name or username on a site to personalize an email template. Many email marketing platforms, including Com100, offer this personalization feature, which can increase user engagement and conversions. An email service provider, an email that provides email services is referred to as an email service provider, for example, Hotmail, Yahoo, NetZero, Gmail, etc. There are plenty more in our LAN as well, so you can check on the respective territory and also by uh, following the respective uh, policies. Uh, from field, uh, the section of your email that identifies when the email is from to be a can spam complaint. This field must accurately represent the individual or business that sent the originating email. Gmail, the third largest email service provider in the world. Gmail typically st uh, strips out email formatting and images, okay? So your email must look acceptable primarily as HTML text in order to appear uh, appealing in Gmail. Okay, got it. The third largest email service provider in the Gmail okay, in the world is Gmail. A Gmail typically strips out email formatting and images, uh, so your email must look acceptable primarily as HTML text uh, in order to appear uh, appealing in Gmail. Hotmail, the world's largest and first free email service provider, Hotmail is known for having one of the most sensitive and restrictive spam filters of any of the email service providers. HTML, a short for hyper text markup language, it is the programming language language that web pages and email templates are typically written in. To be a proficient email or internet marketer, you should have an understanding of basic HTML commands. Image links, uh, clip, uh, clickable links that are shown using a GIF, a G, a JPG or a PNG image on a web page or an email 
While image links are quite effective on web pages, they are not recommended for email due to the fact that many email service providers do not show images within emails by default. Okay, junk folder, the folder or section of an uh, inbox where an email uh, service provider sends emails that it considers to be spam or junk mail. Newsletters, when referring to email marketing, there are emails that contain useful information and may or may not also include product service, brand, company or website promotions opt-in the process of giving consent to be added to an email list yes that uh, we have opt out the process of telling the sender of an email that you no longer wish to receive emails from them to be can spam compliant you must offer all subscribers to or recipients of an email an opportunity to opt out for future emails okay outlook uh, the email reading program of the microsoft office suite uh, it is important uh, because most email campaigns should be optimized to present the most important information in the space that is the size of a standard outlook email box preview pane pixels a unit of uh, measurement of length or height or for web pages and graphics for example a typical email header graphic should uh, not be more than 700 pixels in width Preview pane, the section of an email that is seen in an email client before a user opens up the full email. Typically, this preview pane is no more than 3 inches in height and approximately 700 pixels in width. Reply to field, the field of your email that tells a user where to reply to or that is the address that fills out when a user clicks reply to in their email client. Typically, a marketing or mass email will not have an active reply to address that goes anywhere. However, to a can span compliant, your email reply to address must accurately reflect the company or individual who sent the original email. Okay. Oh, preview pane, uh, I've discussed that uh, more concerned with the landing as well when the first uh, she receive or recipient receive the emails. The section of an email that is seen in email client before a user open is that uh, absolutely right. Uh, sender repetition, a metric that is used by email service provider and is you tied up to your domain name and the IP address from which you send your email that allows your email service provider to access the likelihood that your email is spam or wanted by recipients. Sender repetition is complied using data that includes but it's not limited to spam uh, compliant uh, complaints email open rates unsubscribe request ip address the size of your email list and the quality of your email list single opt-in a method of opting into an email list where a user simply confirms that he or she wants to be on the email list when he or she signs up and is not required to click a second confirmation link in an email that is sent to him or her afterwards Spam, the common name for unwanted or unsolicited email that uh, makes it way into a recipient's email box. And spam folder, the folder or section of an e inbox where an email service provider sends an email that it considered to be spam or junk mail. Okay, spam score, a variable ranking of your email, usually factored pre send, which determines the likelihood that an email will be considered spam by email service providers. Okay, subject line, it's a subject line of your email that appears in a user's inbox when he or she receives your email. To be can spam compliant, the subject line must accurately reflect that uh, what will be in the content of the email once open and uh, you have also got the text links as well so the definitions are being mostly covered to feel unscribed welcome email whitelist in email marketing whitelist can mean two things the first is that your domain or company is on the whitelist of an email service provider which means that the email service provider always sends your email emails companies emails to the inbox other than the spam folder the second meaning is that individual users have whitelisted your email for safe delivery into their individual inbox but adding your sent from address to their contact list or address book. It is typically considered an email best practice to always ask user to add your send from address to their contact list or address book in your welcome email. Yahoo Mail, the second largest email service provider in the world. Yahoo Mail is one of the few email service providers that typically displays images by default. So these are uh, the common terms we have discussed so far. So you can uh, go through uh, this uh, uh, this marketing uh, guide as well, even marketing guide on full. The latest sections, I'm not discussing it right now. Reason behind is because uh, when we are able to actually formulate for our own purposes or for solely internal purposes, it's not meant for the public. 
and uh, when we are in a position uh, to actually apply ourselves accordingly for an uh, uh, for, on an organization level definitely uh, we will follow those lines but you can go by yourself if you are interested to go through uh, the rest of the sections by yourself if you want to have the understanding then you can have the understanding that what are the rest of the parts meant to be but I have actually delivered a short video for the email marketing, the concept and uh, the uh, also most of commonly used definitions and also what uh, the email marketing is all about. And uh, it's, uh, it's a must. You have to differentiate uh, between uh, the email marketing which is a need and uh, which uh, you have to link in with the social media marketing as well and uh, just to in case uh, uh, just to give an authentic uh, uh, authentic closure uh, to the marketing apprentice of your company because normally what uh, is uh, done on um, uh, what normally is done uh, when we talk about the social media is all about uh, the branding but when we talk about the email marketing, you have to uh, uh, send up the messages of various types through email to your prospect, uh, prospects or to the potential clients so that they can see that what we, uh, we can get from the offer or from the plan in terms because normally you see that whenever you sign up for any uh, free tool whatsoever the software available over the internet you get an email uh, at the same time whether they want to have a plan uh, forwarded uh, you want to actually sign up for a forward plan premium plan you can have it so uh, the email marketing goes side by side through the uh, so social media marketing and uh, social media marketing is the branding email marketing is uh, the offering of the services which can be divided into free which can be divided into premium packages as well so it's up to the uh, uh, up to the client up to the customer whether it want to take it or not uh, and uh, you just have to uh, push your uh, push the product push uh, the name of the uh, company name of the brand uh, to the prospect uh, client or the customer so that they can uh, get the services so as in social media marketing when you are marketing the brand of a company you use the email marketing to brand uh, uh, to product the uh, product uh, the uh, uh, to, uh, to actually inform uh, the customers about the product and simultaneously when we talked about the uh, business information management in our earlier video what we did that we discussed SQL platform and databases so what we are uh, what if you are uh, into a social media platform you must have a database so you must have all channels uh, just to have uh, the stream of uh, uh, information you must have all uh, the uh, list uh, compiling in your database whenever you want to see that yes a prospective client or the product of a prospective client can be forwarded to the list of uh, customers in already present in your database or you want to acquire more lists uh, by uh, accessing more channels that's really up to you but at the end of the day when you have a database of the of the prospects you have a database of list of customers you can send and project the clients uh, product uh, to them uh, respectively so the main purpose is to work side by side all the marketing tips and tools and so that you can obviously get the maximum uh, for your client so I'll just end up my video I'll just see you for your next video that will be the affiliate marketing and also we want to have discussed some of the uh, other related issues related to the marketing tools and uh, the terminologies so I appreciate that you uh, stay with me for enough time uh, for this video and just looking ahead for your uh, likes subscriptions uh, comments shares and also for the notification bell button thank you very much take care and have a nice day